Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss mass ratio. So what is mass ratio? Well, let's get a definition. Mass ratio is actually quite straightforward and basically it is just the mass of one element relative to the mass of the molecule. So the best way to do this is just by working an example. So let's say we are trying to determine the mass of carbon in carbon dioxide. So okay, so it's a mass of one element relative to the mass of the molecule. So essentially what we need to do is say the mass of carbon divided by the mass of carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's just plug these numbers in. So we're going to use the atomic mass for carbon, so that's about 12.01, again, grams per mole. And we're going to divide that by the molar mass, or the molecular weight, essentially, of our carbon dioxide. So to determine this, we simply just add up the atomic masses of each individual element. So we have about 12 grams of carbon. Each oxygen is about 16 grams, so 16 times 2 gives us about 32, plus 12 gives us an overall molar mass of about 44 grams per mole for our mass of carbon dioxide. So if we do this out, and so we do 12 divided by 44, we get a number that is essentially 0 0.2727, something like that. But what is that? That is just a garbage number. It's gibberish. That's not helpful. That's not a useful thing. And so what we actually do is take this number and multiply it times 100. So we essentially make it a percent. So what we could say is that in carbon dioxide, we would have 27 point, we'll just say 3% carbon. So out of 100% of carbon dioxide, 27% of that is carbon. And then 100 minus 27 is oxygen, okay? So let's talk about what that is. What is that 27.3? Well, we actually call that mass percent. And this is a much more useful term than mass ratio. So mass percent would just be your mass of your element, so we'll say of element X, okay, divided by your mass of your molecule times 100. And this will give us a very, very valuable uh, piece of information. So let's work a, uh, another example, um, but I'm actually going to let you do this one. So what is the mass percent, okay, so we're going to percent this time, what is the mass percent of oxygen in carbon dioxide. So we just did it for carbon. What is it of oxygen? Go. All right, did you get an answer? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, don't worry about it. We're going to work through it together right here. So we said mass percent. So we're going to do mass of oxygen divided by our mass of carbon dioxide, which that's a C, times 100. So we would just plug this in. So our mass of oxygen, now hold on. How many oxygens do we have in carbon dioxide? There are two. And so what we have to do is take two times our 16, which is our atomic mass. So we actually have 32.0 grams of oxygen in a total mass of 44 grams. We multiply that times 100, and we end up with 72.7%. Now, we could have had the same number by doing 100 minus the 27.3% earlier that we determined is the percent of carbon in carbon dioxide, and we get the same number of 72.7%. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, you can go back through and work it out. But essentially, we need to make sure you factor in every single little one of those subscripts. So let's try one more. What is the mass percent of nitrogen in nitrous oxide? Go. All right, did you get an answer? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, don't worry about it. We'll work it out right here. All right, so mass percent of nitrogen. So we do our mass of nitrogen divided by our mass of nitrous oxide. And to oh times 100. It's percent, so you can't forget that multiply by 100 piece. All right, so we use our atomic mass of nitrogen first. That's about 14 grams per mole, but there are two of them, okay? We cannot forget that subscript. So 14 times 2, which is actually about 28, all over the molar mass of nitrous oxide, which is around 44 grams per mole, times 100. So we essentially have 28 divided by 44 times 100. If you do that properly, you get an answer of about 63.6%. Hopefully you got that correct. If you didn't, practice, practice, practice. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Drink water.